What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Danielle. Hello. You can subscribe down below. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm a sophomore in college at UGA. I do videos about fashion, lifestyle, health, all that fun stuff. My hair is a mess and I'm sorry if I touch it a lot. I wanted to sit down today and talk to you guys about some of my favorite products. Do an OG favorites video because I love doing them. They make me so happy. I love watching them. Seriously, some of my favorite videos to watch. Like I always check out the products. So I will have all the links down below. This video is not sponsored just a little FTC disclaimer right there not sponsored these are products I truly truly love even though my videos are sponsored I do love them but anyways just to make you guys happy <laughs> I'm really excited about all the things that I have behind me that I want to talk to you guys about these are some things that have truly improved my life quality I tried to grab things that I haven't talked about already um, but naturally since these are things I love you're probably have seen them before but anyways without further ado let's get started with my favorites this is going to be in a very random order just because I have lots of things behind me and I'm just gonna grab them the first thing I've been loving are black hats this one's actually from garage you guys can't really tell actually I'm gonna do close-ups so maybe you'll be able to it's like a corduroy kind of material I'm really into like the whole like baseball cap look right now with just like some athleisure really into wearing them to class especially on days where I don't feel like wearing makeup um, um, I just feel more covered and stuff. I don't really know. I really like hats. I like how sleek they are. It's great. So yeah, this one's from Garage. It's been my go-to one. Um, but yeah, I'll have a similar one linked down below. Or if I can find the one on Garage, I'll have it down below. After going to New York for New York Fashion Week a couple weeks ago, I've become obsessed with the whole dad shoes trend. It's definitely up for debate. I know a lot of you guys are not into it. A lot of you guys are obsessed with it, like myself. I already had these Fila sneakers, and I had been wearing them a lot. And I'm obsessed with them, truly. I got these off of UrbanOutfitters.com. I'm obsessed with them. These are the all-white ones. They have a pair that have, like, navy and blue blue on them, but I feel like I wouldn't wear them as much. I really want to start wearing them here in Athens, but I'm like a little nervous, but I love them because I'm kind of shorter and these give me a little height. And since these are kind of bulky shoes, they make your legs look slimmer, if that sounds weird, but I really, really like them. Um, Kenzie also rocks them a lot. I wore them a lot in LA. I love the look of them with like a dress. I think that looks so cool. That's just me. My friend Peyton has been posting these a lot on her blog, Peyton Sartain. She's amazing. And so I got them because they look very similar to the Balenciaga sneakers. So I'm going to try these out. These are the Adidas. Oh, I forget the name. I'll have them linked down below. These are Adidas sneakers. They're cool. I've never seen anything like them. They're super funky. And I got a, I got a ton of pairs of like white like midi socks so I'll wear the socks to like here and kind of bunch it up and I really like the look of these sneakers with like fancy outfits like call me crazy my next favorite I'm actually wearing right now so I'll get a clip of them but they're these awesome like black palazzo pants that I got from Princess Polly I'm hoping they still have them on the website so I'll have them linked down below I think they still do um they are awesome I wear them with graphic tees I wear them with crop tops I dress them up and I'll wear booties like these are so flattering on because they're elastic and they're just so comfy so you can like use them as loungewear like earlier today I was wearing a sweater and I tucked them into my palazzo pants and it just looked really good and I wear my dad's sneakers with them a lot they're just they're just great they're very versatile next up is a product I've talked about in a lot of different videos lately but it's truly because I love it this is the Becca Be A Light palette um, I really really like it um, it's just easy for travel because it's got a ton of different products in one um, so this is the blur powder this is what I use the most um, I use it as kind of like a bronzer because I don't you know when I'm going to class I don't want this whole contoured look but I do want a little bit of a glow so I use that and I also use this like actual contour bronzer like to contour my nose I use this blush every day I used it today and then this is like a brightening powder I'll use this after I set my face with foundation or I set my face with powder I'll like put a little bit of this like along my cheekbones so yeah it's like a great all-in-one and I really really like it up next we've got these sunglasses that I got from Forever 21 actually and I really really like them they remind me of like Celine sunglasses I'm really into these big black sunglasses I think they're really cool again with like a black hat or just if you don't have makeup or like with a ponytail this kind of adds a statement I really like how they have like this low-key cat eye kind of deal they're just very I don't know I like how they're not too big um, I wore them today. I just, I don't know, I, you would not guess that I got these at Forever 21. At least I wouldn't. They're very nice quality. I really like them. And if I lose them for some odd reason, I won't be heartbroken. My, my wallet will be heartbroken. Let's talk skincare. I've got two products I want to talk to you guys about that I've been loving. Um, I was very skeptical to try out Glossier skincare products just because, you know, they, I know them for their makeup. So I was like, 
how do I know their skincare is gonna be good? But when I was in New York a couple weeks ago, we came across the Glossier store, which is really fun. It's a great experience, highly suggest. And we walked in and everything looked so pretty and they were doing this deal with the set for skincare. One of the items in the set was the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. And um, it's a really cool consistency. It literally comes out in your hand like jelly. And you can actually use it with dry or wet skin. So you don't always have to wet your skin before. I mean, you obviously have to wash it off, but it's kind of cool. Um, Delaney also got it too and we've both been loving it. I love how clean my skin feels after. I forget who, but one YouTuber I was watching was saying like this literally cleared their skin. So I haven't had that happen yet necessarily, but I've been really enjoying it. And it's a fun little bottle and it's great for travel because you can like lock it and it like doesn't explode all over your suitcase, which I've had happen to me many times. One time it was purple shampoo. That was terrible. I'm really into serums and um, my friend Jordan Rebecca, she has a YouTube channel. She lives in New York City and she took us to this literally it was like this big, this store. It was like a, you walk in and you're just like in this little doorway because they have really small products. And it was like in Soho area. And this is the brand The Ordinary and this is their Buffet Serum. So I use it before I apply moisturizer and it basically has multi-technology peptide serum. They call it the Buffet because it has a ton of their different products mixed in one. So it's like an all-in-one serum. Um, and I, I, to be honest, when it comes to skincare, like I don't necessarily know if it's like working, but I really like how my skin looks when I put this on in the morning and then I pop a moisturizer over it. My skin just feels really healthy looking. A lot of you guys have been saying I look more glowy lately, so I feel like that might have to do with this. So, yeah. Another reason you guys might think I've been looking more glowy lately, I'm just saying this because so many of you guys have commented that. I'm like, that's so sweet. I've been drinking the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptide Powder. Um, this is the unflavored one. It's really good for your hair, your skin, your nails, and joint support. So I'm always into like self-care and like just whenever I can do little things. Like in one of my recent videos I was talking about how I was drinking coffee and I put this powder in it. I actually have to thank Callie for telling me to do that. She's over there. Um, and it's just so easy because you don't taste it. Um, and it kind of gives your coffee a little bit more of a creamier taste anyways And it's just a great way to get it in or you can also put it in your smoothies I do that a lot really into this I really do think it helps a lot of people talk about it And I feel like a lot of people truly like it This is my lord and savior if you guys follow me on Instagram all my stories include this This is the Trader Joe's frozen cauliflower gnocchi I love it. I'm always trying to find replacements for carbs because I'm obsessed with pasta. I love Italian food. Like, if I'm hungry, that is what I want. But Brooke turned me on to this. This is the cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I probably should pop this in the freezer here in a second. But it's made out of cauliflower. They do mix it with some other things. I don't think it's vegan. Cauliflower, cassava flour, potato starch, extra virgin olive oil, and sea salt. Oh, just kidding. That's all. We love that. What I do is I just saute this on a pan and then after like five minutes I add tomato sauce, arugula, and onions. Oh my gosh. It tastes so good. You, you think you're eating potato gnocchi but you're eating cauliflower gnocchi which is so good for you. Cauliflower is so crazy good for you. My friend Michelle Reed, she also has a YouTube channel, she was saying in her video that this has a lot of sodium in it so that is kind of like not great but for me that's like better than me eating a ton of carbs so it really truly does taste like you're just eating gnocchi, so highly suggest. And the mashed cauliflower. I also just tried cauliflower rice. I'm really into cauliflower right now, if you can't tell. Another favorite of mine is definitely Trader Joe's in general. Trader Joe's is inexpensive. They have great food and frozen section. Next up, another beauty product is this Neutrogena Moisture... <laughs> Next up is this Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. Um, it's just this red tinted lip balm. Actually, I wouldn't even call it a tinted lip balm because it's very opaque. I wear it on game days because um, our colors are red and black. I know that fall is coming up and I like to wear a nice red lip for fall. So I really like this. I love wearing moisturizing lip colors, if anything. Like the color I have on right now, it's like a moisturizing lip balm. I just really don't like when your lips start to look dry and flaky. It's just not a, it's not a look. We don't like it. This has been great. It's nice and you can buy it at the drugstore, so that's nice and easy. But first, coffee. Um, I have started using French press for coffee. Obviously in the morning when I'm in a rush, I'll use my Nespresso or Keurig to make my cup of coffee just because time. But on like weekend mornings or mornings I don't have class, I really like to treat myself 
and use my French press. I actually got this in my FabFitFun box, and I've never really done French press before, other than like at restaurants a couple times. And it really is a, a great experience. So you have to get, you have to buy ground coffee, or when you go to like a coffee shop, have them grind the beans for you. But you pop that in with hot water, and then after I think it's like five minutes, you let it brew. You push down, and all the amazingness comes up, and you just pour it. And it's just like a good experience. I'm all about like the process of something, and it's really satisfying, and it's just really nice in the morning. And this one's from Alfred Coffee. Coffee. They like did it for FabFitFun. So obviously it's super cute and it says but first coffee. So if I can find this one, I'll have it linked down below. But if not, I'll just link a really nice French press down below that's not too expensive. So yeah. I just got this neck pillow, which looks like it's for the airplane, but it's actually really soft and it's got beads in it. And it's um, by the brand Sonoma and or it says Sonoma Eucalyptus. It smells so good. It smells like eucalyptus and basically it has like beads in it. It's just basically like a heat pack in the microwave. But I liked this one because obviously it's so cute and it's like fit for around your neck. Like after like a long day of classes or I've been working a lot, it's so nice to heat this up in the microwave. I do like two to three minutes and it just feels so, so good. And I just, I really like the shape of it. It's just so easy because I had another hot pack or heat pack but it like didn't mold around my neck. We don't like that. So I got this at the Indigo Home Store here in Athens but I feel like I'll be able to find this online, so I'll link it down below. It's great. Next up, we have a pair of pajamas. I would say I wear pajama sets like half the time during the week. I really like wearing them. I also really love to just like wear big t-shirts to bed, but if I'm having like a really nice productive night, I like to wear pajama sets. So this is by the brand Everjay. Um, apparently it's like a really nice brand. My aunt got it for me. I'm pretty sure she got it at Bloomingdale. So this is the set. It's just gray and it's got like a, I don't know if this is like light pink or white um, board border, I don't know, lining, and then it's long pants, but I also have another set from Revolve that's short sleeve pink satin, you guys have seen it before. I really like wearing pajama sets, but I'll have this one linked down below because these are so soft and so luxurious. Um, these are a little bit more expensive, but I think they're really worth it, so I'll have them linked down below. And lastly, if you guys go to a big um, football school or you go to, I'm pretty sure even NFL games or a lot of stadiums have this rule where you have to have clear bags now, which is such a vibe cut because you're like, eh, like that's so annoying. Like, what if you're on your period and you have a tampon in your bag? That's so annoying. But anyways, <laughs> that's besides the point. I've been really trying to find some cute game day bags because we have game days almost every Saturday, so I, I want it to go cute with my outfit. So I found this one. It's from the brand um, Jimmy WZ, I believe. And he does like a lot of trunk shows here in Athens. That's where I got mine. But I'm pretty sure he has a website. And I love this one. I mean, like, this is so unique. He also does like regular bags. But like, you cannot beat this. It fits absolutely everything I need. They have different sizes. Some of my, my little has this in like the smaller size. We twin. Um, and it fits everything I need. It Like I said, it's got fringe on the side. It's braided. It is so cute and bohemian. Like, I was literally, where was I? Oh, I was at the Atlanta, not Braves, Falcons game, the football game, and I was going to security and the lady was like, this is the most creative clear bag I've seen. And I was very honored by that because I'm sure they see a lot. So this one's great. Yay! I love favorites videos so much. I don't know why. They're just so much fun to watch. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. You guys learned about a new product that you maybe want to check out. Again, I'll have all the links to everything I showed down below. If you liked this September favorites video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. And I'll try and remember to do an October favorites or whenever I think of it, honestly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys soon.